Am I recording? Yes, I am uh, recording. Today is one of the warmest days of 2020 in Toronto so far. And uh, I will be taking a trip to Waterfront. But first, I will have a walk around around Yorkville. And then uh, we'll continue discovering Toronto and making uh, some uh, short videos uh, so I can make uh, a little movie for you guys. So. I would say it's a relatively good area considering that Toronto houses are average prices a million bucks, maybe even more. And in this area, I would say they're over two, two to three. So this is definitely above average area. Yorkville is a premium neighborhood of Toronto. All right, guys, I'm not gonna waste too much battery. I only have one battery for this, uh, for today. I don't have any additional batteries or I don't have, and I don't have a power bank. So I will be very conservative with my battery and try to get only the videos that I can actually edit and uh, make something out of it. So, uh Nice cars arriving to Yorkville. I don't know any dealerships in the area. Probably somebody got their car delivered. It's very loud from the engine, so I hope you guys can hear me. I do have a microphone cover, so uh, you're probably not gonna hear 100%, but uh, I will try to speak up and raise the voices so you can guys can uh, hear what I'm talking about. Passing by a cheapo wine bar, your pill. And the second well known uh, location here would be the hotel. We have the Hazelton Hotel. It is located right on Yorkville. It's well known uh, for accommodating a lot of artists coming to Toronto for, uh, uh, for concerts or any other important people. I would like to stay in the center of Toronto, we would usually come to this hotel, the Hazelton Hotel. We also have a very nice patio, restaurant patio, which is currently closed due to the COVID-19 restrictions. But as far as I know, uh, this Friday they're relaxing the rules, so this patio is gonna be busy. People will be, uh, uh, people will be arriving to this area and we'll be enjoying the restaurants and bars that are available. So until for now, I'm going to just have a little walk and uh, just record the surroundings. Here's a nice little porch. Here's a very nice porch. Looks like an electrical one. Probably my next car if I make enough media, uh, enough money from this video. So guys, like, share. Let me get some uh, Profits coming in from YouTube, and I'll get that Porsche for test drive. So hurry up, like my videos. All right, okay. another well-known location in Yorkville would be a, a big, large hotel that people like to gather around and have concerts around. So I'll show it to you right here behind me. And there is a Yorkville or Cumberland Avenue. So I'm gonna try to climb the rock right now. 
and show you the view from the top. Let's take a look. this area today is the warmest day of 2020 and I'm outside testing the camera right now, the intersection of Cumberland and Bel Air this is right in the middle of Yorkville area there's a brand new condo they just built I don't know the prices but I'm telling you they weigh over 500,000 for a small one bedroom and right now I will be making my way to uh, Bay Street and I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make uh, right which I'll be going south towards the blue street and I'm gonna make a right again and make a circle and show you the blue street west which is very famous uh, well known for a good big brand outlet shops so we have boss Prada Gucci all these guys so once I'll get there I'll make a, a little video for you guys and uh, here's a preview of Bay and Cumberland and we have brand new condos that are building right now. They'll be arriving in this location. And most of the low rises will be uh, taken down and replaced by condos. So take a look. Come on, Gigi, go, go. So the Cumberland Terrace that you see behind me will be replaced by the condos as well. All this area will be rebuilt by uh, lots of tall high rises. And uh, we're almost at Blue Street. I just have a few more steps. That's where you can see all the shopping, uh, brand, all the big brands, all stores like uh, Sephora, Roots, Banana Republic, Old Renfrew. Uh, we have all big brands further down the road. So once I'll be walking and talking, I'll be showing you some of the stores that are going to be open. Uh, here's the lineup to Sephora. They're only allowing a few people at a time, so what people come in the store, uh, they do calculate how many people are currently in the store and, and they're trying to keep a certain amount not to, I guess, spread the infection. Here's a whole prep view, which is boarded up. That's what it is, but check out some of your cars. somewhere is here and we know that by the sounds like that all right guys just a couple of shots of uh local street so i'll just put a camera and uh, make a couple of short videos see some of the stores are boarded up and uh, some are closed some of the ones that open are boarded up as well I guess they do worry about uh, getting uh, the windows damaged even at night so as you can see there's another store that's Louis Vuitton for you guys boarded up yeah 
uh, very congested, uh, lots of people. That's what's going on. You get some uh, activity going on, you have some peaceful protests, and unfortunately, some people decide to damage the property. In this case, uh, that's why I've been boarding it up. All right, I'm passing by a very loud vent. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Here's another hotel that's been uh, 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 under construction for a while. We're talking about the Park Hyatt Toronto. And uh, just to show you, I went around, met a circle, uh, went down uh, Bay Street, made a right in Bloor, and then come back, uh, came up uh, back by. Uh, by Avenue, which is a university that if you start from the downtown core, it will be University Avenue. So uh, right now I'm back in Yorkville. I will uh, show you a couple more shots of uh, Yorkville, the areas that uh, I didn't cover in the previous video. Going back to, uh, to Cumberland. That's the street I didn't start from. I started from uh, Yorkville, so you guys didn't see that area. So I'm going to pass by, uh, make a circle come back to Avenue and I will conclude my video about uh, your area. And the next location will be uh, right now. I'm turning to uh, Berlin. Actually, there is a York right now. All right, guys, so uh, this is the last video that I'm going to make about York at least in this trip. Uh, I will just uh, continue to my car and uh, relocate uh, to Waterfront, find myself some parking and hopefully I have some battery left to give you a quick tour in the Waterfront and uh, maybe a couple of streets in downtown Toronto. So it's a uh, beautiful York Road uh, neighborhood. Look how cute the houses are. How cute your house could be. And I'll show you the next one. Look how beautiful the gardens are. These guys ordered too many packages, no more space on the front. Very beautiful. And then, once you get to the intersection, on the opposite side, we have a rental building, which is um, usually occupied by students uh, that go to college or university, local uh, U of T, or uh, one of the colleges that's located in the area. And uh, I missed the CN Tower view. I missed the CN Tower view, but I'll show you the building that I'm talking about. And that's the building. All right, uh, you know what? I'll uh, push that view because I do believe that view is really good. I'm just gonna make it quick. Out. And now closer to the water, to Lake Ontario. So once I'll uh, reach my next destination, I will make a next video. See you in the next video.